Filipina knows those types of people surrounding you. They will just be there like a shadow. I would not say that's a wife material, that's just a girlfriend material. There are foreigners that would really spoil their Filipina to the point that they're creating a monster. Welcome, welcome to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. So today's subject, Filipina are control freaks. Before we start, again, salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So hi, long time no see. So we're <laughs> back, guys. <laughs> we're back, we're back. How are you, lovely people? <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, we really miss you guys and we miss sitting here and talking about different topics, of yes. course. So, speaking about topics that we have right now. So, Filipinas are control freaks. So, there are many types of Filipinas that are control freaks, right? Yeah. So, speaking of these types, so we have the controller, the follower, and the spender. So these types, of course, we'll be discussing each types. So we'll go with the controller. So for these types of Filipinas, they are more practical and they're more mature when it comes to controlling money. So of course, some of you guys don't like those types of Filipinas, especially if they would try to really control how you spend your money. Mm -hmm. Yes, but for me, if you are really searching for a wife material, I prefer those types of Filipinas because yes. they know what to really use for your money and they just really want to save it. Yes, and in short, they know how to budget. Yes. So I think most of the, the guys, that's the, the girl or a woman that they're looking for. Like yes. they know how to, to budget. Yeah, manage the money because, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So for guys, of, especially for those guys that don't want to be controlled, they get offended. They get mad or sometimes they feel like, oh, she's over controlling. Yeah. But the thing is, it's not. It's like Filipina knows those types of people surrounding you. If they think that you are really generous or you're the type of people that would just give and give, they would really use you. Yeah, so maybe you're wondering why your Filipinas keep on telling or nagging about what you did, right? Yes, or they would try to stop you. No, don't, don't do that. Don't use that. Don't, don't give that. Don't give that type of amount, that big amount. No, yeah. you can just give this the small amount, the small bill, and you would feel like, oh, why can I not give that to them? Yeah, so maybe you can say that, oh, this is my money, so I have the, the full control if what I'm going to do or not, or how much do I give to the person? Yes, so most of them would say that, oh, that's too big for you to give, but they are just telling you not to give that amount because that's too huge, that's too big. And we really know or we know the value of our money here. Like even 50 peso for a tip is already big. 100 peso for a tip is already big. How much more you will give a thousand peso for a tip? That's really huge. There's a lot of things that they can buy. Yeah, so well, I think um, I understand in, in Filipinas uh, part because she just want to protect you. Yes. Because there are Filipinos also that they will use you because they know that you are too generous. And yeah, that's why your Filipina will keep on pushing that, okay, I will don't do it because that's too much. And I don't want you to encounter those Filipinos that will use you in, in the long run or in the future. Yeah, they would definitely manage your money. And of course, both of you would have this conversation and how to spend it. So those are the controllers. We also have the followers. 
So these types of Filipinas don't want to really give their opinions because they're afraid that they you would get offended by their opinion. Or that might cause an argument between you. So all she needs to do is to just listen and obey or follow what you want and what you need. Being submissive. For me, yes, that's okay for a Filipina, but if you really want to have a wife material, I go with the controller. Because if you are just a follower, I would not say that there's a budget there. You cannot handle the money. Yeah, you would just like depend on what's your husband's decision about it, which is not totally fine if you are creating a family. Yes, and for me, in my opinion, that's kind of annoying because it's like I, I'm, I'm the one that's controlling everything or responsible for, for everything. Yes, because that's why you need a partner because you need someone to talk to. Like, you need to open up something if this is the right decision or if this is the right budget for a month or so. Yes, because you really need to know how to spend your money. In order for you to do that, you need to have a wife that can really control and manage it. So for the followers, they're just so scared of losing you because there are foreigners that tend to be control controlative too. They would try to really control you and they don't want your opinion. There yeah. are foreigners like that. And there are also Filipinas that they're so scared that they would tell you about what they think. Yeah, especially those Filipinas, if they can sense that their partner is too possessive and strict. strict in terms of money. They just want to make themselves like to be silent. Uh, I would say they would just go with the flow. They would go with the flow. They would just obey you. They would just be there like a shadow. <laughs> yeah, they would, they would just be there like a shadow. I would not say that's a wife material. That's just a girlfriend material. Yeah, because... Yeah, they just don't know how to really be there for you as your partner. Right. Yes. And another one also that uh, I think this is also common that there are Filipinas who are really spenders. Yeah, there are Filipinas that we call spenders because they don't really care about your money. All they care about is just spend and spend what they want and what they get from you. So they don't really care if you're already over the budget. <laughs> yes, all they do is just demand and demand. So we have those types of Filipinas. They don't really care about your money. Yes, that's true, guys. And uh, we know someone also that they're, you know, uh, she's really type of woman that is a spender. Yeah. She doesn't, you know, cares about how much they spend in a month or so. She always think about what she can get. What she can buy. She can buy. Even though it's not necessary for her to buy it. Even though that material, she cannot use it. She, she would not use it on a daily basis. She doesn't really care. Mm -hmm. If that material is already damaged, she would just throw it away or just give it right away. Yeah. So that's too much because her hair wants... It's much more on her needs. So she should think about the money of uh, her husband. Yes, right? of course. Because you work hard for that. It's your money. So of course, you need to spend it wisely. And I would say there are types of Filipinas like that. All you need to do is be cautious about it. Because maybe you don't really see it. But when you provide their monthly allowance, then you would know that she's a spender. Yeah, because there's <laughs> no money. Like, you just gave her her monthly allowance. She doesn't have money anymore after a week. And you will know that also when you are living together. Like, yes. when she keep on asking money. So, well, for sure, you, ha you have to ask her, what are you going to do for that money? Some actually don't really ask. They would just, oh, I really want that because I, we need to use this and that. And then afterwards, she would just point again, oh, I want that. It's, it's my dream to get that type of 
Thank you, wow. no. You know what? This is my first time to eat this food. Yes. <laughs> I want to experience this restaurant or expensive restaurant because this is my first time. Well, there are Filipinos like that, that they would really demand where to eat and where to, you know, yes. spend your money. And they want to demand different types of bags, different types of wardrobes, dresses. Yeah, there are types of Filipinas like that, that they really want to experience what they never experienced before. Yeah. Like having a branded shoes, having a branded bag, having a branded dress, t-shirt. So you just really need to be cautious about that. Because most of you guys, since you can afford it, you don't really bother. So. Yeah, and there are also foreigners can really understand because you will say, ah, okay. I will uh, support her because uh, she never experienced this before. Yes. So I'll let her experience now since uh, I'm dating or since I'm uh, her husband now. And yeah. also uh, for, for that kind of Filipina, she would take advantage to it because you know, you, you're, my, you're my husband, you're dating me. So you have to support me what I want. Yes, there are foreigners that would really spoil their Filipina to the point that they're creating a monster. Yes, there are. So you have to think if that's the right thing to do or not. So just let her know or you have to talk to her. So I think you will know the person if you are dating uh, for, for a long time. And that period of time, you will determine if she is a controller, a follower, or a spender. Yes, of course you would really determine that guys especially if you're cautious about her personality yes do your background check know her personality first know everything about her because you know it can make you bankrupt if you don't know the person yeah yes. that's right <laughs> <laughs> so just let me know in the comment section what type of filipina you like if you like a controller a follower or a spender yes so yes guys comment down below so thank you so much for watching till the end and we hope to see you in our next vlog no hate just, just love. love bye, bye.